Hey guys, my name is Adeze Akubweze and I am a therapist. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you things that I have learned over the years regarding what to expect on your first mental health therapy session. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then let's keep on going. First of all, this video really is for anybody out there who is making a decision on going for therapy for the first time and kind of confused on what to expect or if you've already kind of like scheduled an appointment for therapy and maybe it's tomorrow maybe it's even today who knows it might just be you and you're just wondering like what am i expecting when i walk into that room with a therapist what am i expecting when i walk into the office for therapy for the first time well this video is for you because in this video i am going to be sharing things that you can expect on your first therapy visit so let's keep going the first tip that i would like to share is that you know you're never going to be fully ready for therapy and that's the honest truth you have to make that decision to say you know what i want to go now sometimes clients walk in and they they want to come in knowing that you're fully ready to to express and it's okay to get to a point where you're like i'm ready to share however when it comes to being prepared for your first therapy session you don't have to be a hundred percent ready you don't have to figure it all out I encourage you to go in for therapy and figure it out with your therapist and you see how you know working together makes it all worth the while it makes it easier so one important thing to expect in your first therapy session is that there's going to be a lot of paperwork however you know a lot of organizations operate differently so i know that a couple of organizations could actually send out your intake material for you to fill out a couple of forms so most times the things that you expect on these forms are like details like your name where you live you know if you're coming in with insurance what insurance company you're coming in with coming in to fill that paper works however there are certain organizations where your first session you're gonna have to come in a little bit earlier so they will let you know when you give them a call they let you know that you have to come in maybe 30 minutes before time so you can fill out your paperwork before your therapy begins or in some cases you already fill it out in the comfort of your home before you come in for therapy the first therapy session is also called your intake session because literally you're you're being onboarded into the therapy session so in the first therapy session you're going to be meeting your therapist for the first time and this can be exciting but it can also be nerve-wracking depending on how your experience is but at the end of the day you're doing nothing wrong you're going to be meeting your therapist but one thing that i think it's important to expect in your first therapy session is that it's going to be a get to know me kind of session right and while that can sound very like oh my god like you know this human that i've never met before is getting to know me for the first time you know one thing to expect is that it's going to be really like in some cases very light-hearted hearted conversations right so you know most times i like to ask my clients like what do you like to do? It's your favorite meal to make? Do you have pets? You know, makes us anxious about the whole idea of going for therapy for the first time is that I'm just getting to know this person and I'm expected to talk to this person for an hour about things that I've probably never shared with anybody before. But, you know, good news is that you actually do not have to uncover anything deep on your first therapy session. Your first therapy session can really be chilled. You know, you can just be having a good time getting to know this human another thing to bear in mind is that in your first therapy session you can also get to know your therapist yes you're allowed to ask questions and if you feel like they're important questions that you know matter to you with regarding like therapy if you had questions about you know what school of thought they subscribe to if you've read something about some therapy style that you're just fascinated about you know you're also allowed to ask your therapist about that know each other one thing that is definitely and has to happen on the first therapy session is that your your therapist is going to share um the limits of confidentiality with you so letting you know that everything you guys discuss within therapy remains confidential except in certain cases and your therapist is going to share with you the bounds of confidentiality and when that can be broken another thing to expect in your first therapy session is that it might feel all shades of weird like going to therapy for the first time especially if you've never actually been in therapy before it could feel weird but for some people they find it to feel very relaxing and rewarding it really depends on the fact that we have different experiences 
as humans even though we're experiencing the same thing but um i just want to normalize the weirdness that you feel right so the fact that you feel weird doesn't mean that something is going wrong you've never met this human before and now you're having to talk to this person in an enclosed room for a while and not only that you know that eventually you're going to have to talk about some of the deep stuff that you've probably struggled to to understand or to share with anybody else so you know with all of this comes a certain level of weirdness which i just want to normalize with this point that over time the weirdness tends to really dissipate and reduce and eventually maybe even disappear yeah, or that sometimes it takes a while to get comfortable with this person right in line with the other point that i mentioned and sometimes it might take a while to actually find your therapist right so the fact that you've come in for this therapy session and you've been assigned a therapist some people have it good right sometimes you connect some people are able to like just tell from the first meeting that this is my person for some other people it might take like a couple of visits to get to a point where it's like i feel like i found my therapist for some other people as well they just struggle to connect to the person that they've been assigned you know um over time so I just wanted to throw it out here as well that that could happen. Forgot. Another thing that you can expect in your first therapy session. So remember how we talked about you haven't done some paperwork, some filled out some paperwork before coming in for therapy in most cases. There is also a couple of um, like questionnaires that you might have to fill out in your first session, like like different kinds of surveys that you might have to um, complete with, with with your therapist in the first session like they might ask you a couple of questions um from the survey and th that gives an idea as well as to like what you are like you know sometimes completing the survey is like asking you on a scale of zero to ten rate yourself oh i feel suicidal on some days um i like to hang out with older people than younger people I fidget when I'm scared, I have trouble sleeping, I have trouble eating, all those kind of questions, right? They could be in a survey and depending on how you answer that question, it already gives your therapist an insight into who you are and some of your experiences. So I thought to put that out there as well, I forgot that. So those are some of the points um, as to what to expect in your first therapy session. I kind of really feel like Mm, this is it however if i'm done with this video and i feel like there are certain things that i forgot to include in this video then i'm gonna do a part two however if you've also gone for your first therapy session and you happen to be watching this video please put down in the comment section some other things that people who are watching this video can expect from their first therapy session and if this is your first therapy session and you've never been to a therapy session before let me know how this video helped you just let me know how you're feeling right now about going in for your first therapy session i hope that this video helped you more than anything and if this is your first time ever going for therapy you've been to therapy before but you're about to go in to meet maybe a new therapist or a new place or you moved and you're going to a new mental health facility let me know down below how you're feeling even though you've not even if you've been to therapy before but you're about to go for another one let me know how you feel you know i just want to have like that communication with you guys in the comment section so please feel free to use the comment section down below if you've watched this video to this point and you feel like you enjoyed what you saw please give me a thumbs up also hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my youtube channel hit the red button right there and if you're already subscribed to my channel you can also join the notification gang by hitting the notification bell it's a bell like button down there so that you get notified each time i post a video the last thing that i require kindly is that you share with me some things that you would like to see on my channel regarding therapy um this was really a video on what to expect on your first time in therapy however you know if you want me to make videos on what to expect in therapy itself what is therapy um how do i know that i found a good match you know anything really along that line don't be afraid 
put it in the comment section below i'ma read it and i'ma make a video just for you i read and i listen so make use of it and i'll see you guys in my next one but until then remember that you are a beautiful human if you do say so yourself sending you love and light Mwah.